Welcome to my course on genome editing and engineering. I would like to give a small introduction to my course uh, in the very beginning. So, this is a course as you can understand on genome editing and engineering which is becoming a very important subject in the current period. I have listed various books and references uh, which you can consult in advance as well as during the course of this uh, uh, syllabus and uh, these are available uh, for purchase which you can order online. Uh, let me go straight away to the course layout and uh, what is uh, expected to be taught in these uh, 12 weeks. So, uh, we have various topics, we are beginning with a very basic uh, foundation of genetics and genetic engineering. Without the knowledge of uh, genetics, uh, we cannot uh, have an idea about uh, genetic engineering. And genetic engineering uh, is a primitive technology if we compare to the power of uh, genome editing and engineering. But many of the concepts uh, have actually developed uh, during the development of the course of genetic engineering. So, uh, it is very important to revise many of those uh, important concepts in genetic engineering. So, if you have uh, earlier uh, undergone a course on genetic engineering, many of these things may be uh, mere revisions for you, uh, but it will be very helpful in understanding the much more little advanced uh, topics that we are going to encounter uh, in uh, genome editing course. Uh, we have divided the course into uh, four different aspects. The first one is the fundamentals and basic knowledge and not just related to the concepts of uh, genetics and uh, genetic engineering, but uh, much more basic concepts in uh, biology. Uh, mostly in uh, microbiology maybe or uh, uh, pathology and how those concepts uh, has been evolved uh, into genetic engineering tools and later on into the much advanced genome editing tools. So, we will have a historical uh, perspective of all these uh, developments in this course and uh, how many of these basic research was translated into uh, applicable tools with which we have these very powerful technology in our hand today. So, after these basics we go for some introduction of the core technologies in, in uh, genome uh, editing uh, as well as engineering. Uh, mostly the core technologies are the gene finger nucleus technology the transcription activator like effector nucleus uh, technology and the clustered regularly interspaced sort palindromic repeats uh, Cas9 technology. So, our entire focus will be on these three uh, pillars uh, on which the branch of genome editing and engineering uh, survives. Uh, we have not included here the uh, concepts of mega nucleases as uh, the technology is becoming a little bit obsolete nowadays, uh, but some elements of mega nucleases which are used in, in talent or some other uh, uh, context uh, would be discussed uh, in, in this course. One of the other uh, important uh, topic that we are going to uh, cover uh, is not merely the technological development, but also its applications. So, what are the various fields in which this uh, platform technology is being utilized ranging from uh, microbes to the plant kingdom uh, to the animal kingdom and uh, above all the human health. And uh, while doing so, uh, how do we use the power of bioinformatics in designing uh, all the various uh, genome editing tools. So, a large uh, uh, portion. Uh, uh, of these course will be also focused on the development of these uh, genome editing tools whether it is ZFN, TALEN or uh, CRISPR-Cas9. Uh, not only the wet laboratory tools, but also the bioinformatics tools. We will have a very, very extensive uh, discussion. Uh, finally, uh, we are very much concerned about the power of uh, technology. Uh, technology a good 
technology is a good thing to have, but most often a technology has two sides, the good and the bad. So, as uh, uh, humans we are concerned about the ethics and violation of uh, human rights, animal rights and even uh, some kind of disaster that may happen to the uh, nature or our environment. So, we are uh, having uh, some discussions on the ethics uh, as well as uh, other uh, legal aspects uh, which are very, very important uh, in regulating these powerful technology. I hope uh, you will enjoy this course and uh, it is expected that at the end of this course uh, you will be skilled in the basics of the various uh, disciplines which enable the development of the concepts of genetic engineering and which further uh, developed the concepts of uh, genome editing and uh, uh, also genome engineering. Today we have the power not to just edit a, a, a single gene, uh, we can edit multiple genes and we can introduce uh, many genes together uh, uh, into, into, into large uh, chromosome segments and even uh, engineer artificial uh, chromosomes. So, the power of the creator in some way has been uh, acquired uh, by this technology which is useful, but at the same time very, very dangerous. So, we must uh, bear some kind of responsibility in advancing this technology uh, further. Uh, thank you.